Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the deflection for different beams with different kinds of the loading. So, we start first of all with a simply supported beam with only a pointed load acting on the beam. You see here, the point load or concentrated load P is acting in the middle of the beam and L is the total length of the beam. So, if this is L by 2 and this is also L by 2, so of course we will have maximum deflection of the beam here at the midpoint under the load. So, in this case, the maximum deformation or the maximum deflection for the beam will be equal to the PL cube divided by 48 into EI. You should directly use this equation to find out the maximum deflection at the mid of the beam which will be under the pointed load so now p is known to us it is a pointed load in kilonewton maybe or in pound depending on the codes which are you using l is the total length of the beam here the length is the total length of the beam 48 is the constant e is the elasticity of the material for example if it is a reinforced concrete beam then you should know the elasticity of the steel reinforcement which are used in this beam and i is the moment of inertia for example if there is a rectangular beam cross section this is b and this is h then your moment of inertia will be b h cube by 12. similarly if this is a circular beam then you have to find out the diameter of the beam and then you will find out the moment of inertia for the circular cross section so i is the second moment of inertia of the beam cross section so by putting all these values into this equation, you will find out the maximum deformation of the beam, which will happen at the mid of the beam. Now, this was the first case. The second case is when the load is acting not in the middle of the beam, but at a distance of A from the left end and in a distance of B from the right end. In this case, the maximum deformation or the deflection is equal to the PB into 3L square minus 4B square divide by 48 ei so in this case everything is known to us for example p is the load which is a pointed load b is the distance here from the right in which is the shortest distance and l is the total length of the beam l here and then 3 is a constant and then l square minus 4 4 is also a constant b square b is again this distance and then again 48 is a constant e is elasticity of the material and i is the moment of inertia of the beam so similarly putting all these values you will find the maximum deformation of the beam which will surely be occurring here somewhere under the load under the load will have maximum deformation and you can find out by this formula simply putting the b value the next one and when there is a uniformly distributed load acting on the beam and a simply supported beam so in this case it's a very famous equation for maximum deformation at five WL power 4 into 384 into EI. Similarly, 5 by 384 is a constant and W here is a is a uniformly distributed load maybe in kilonewton per meter or pound per foot but it is a uniformly distributed load acting on the beam. And then L is the length of the beam, total length of the beam. 384 is a constant, E is the elasticity of the material and I is the moment of inertia. So putting all these values, you will find out the total deflection in the beam, which will be here, sorry, the total maximum deflection, which will be here at the mid of the beam, because it is a simply supported, so it will show the maximum deformation at the mid of the beam when there is uniformly distributed load. The next one is the simply supported load, but with a uniformly varying load, you see here, a triangular load is acting on the beam, so in this case, the maximum deformation will be equal to the 0 0.00652 W L power 4. This is L length of the beam and divide by EI. So in this case, you know L is the uniformly varying load in the unit of kilonewton per meter or pound per foot. L is the total length of the beam, E is elasticity and I is the moment of inertia of the beam. So just putting the values, you will find out the maximum deformation in the beam. The last one is the, this was the 
third case and this was the fourth case and the last one is the when there is a uniformly wearing load but in a such a position in a such a case the maximum deformation or deflection will be equal to the wl power 4 divided by 120 ei so in this case the w is uniformly wearing load again in kilonewton per meter L is the total length of the beam, 120 is the cost and E is the elasticity of the material used here and I is the moment of inertia. Just putting the values here, you will find out the maximum deformation or deflection in the beam which will again occur of course in the mid of the beam here. You will have maximum deflection. So I hope you guys understand today the deformation formulas for the beams and I have also provided the lecture how to derive these formulas for the maximum deformation deformation please go to my channel and watch how to derive this formula hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video